Hey everybody, it's May 13th, 2015, and it's Mike Sorg with AwesomeCast.net. For the mini AwesomeCast, please check out our friends, SliceOnBroadway.com, BoldPittsburgh.com. Hey, while you're at it, they don't sponsor officially, but yet Jagoff.com. We talked with him on Awesome Chat a little bit ago on our first episode, so please check that out. And uh, tell us how we're doing. How, are you digging the show? Are there any stories you think we should be talking about? Any types of stories you think we should be talking about? Uh, let us know at AwesomeCast on the Twitter. It's right there in the corner if you're watching on the video. So today let's talk about Verizon. It's kind of big news. Kind of a big deal happened uh, over the last couple, uh, after the last, I guess, 24 hours. I, uh, I, I guess it really kind of popped up as news uh, out of nowhere when I sat down for AwesomeCast yesterday. Uh, but I kind of go into a weird media blackout when I'm about to create ton, about five hours, six hours of media. So that happens. Um, Verizon, <laughs> Verizon buying uh, AOL. Yes, AOL is still a thing. Maybe you didn't know that. Or maybe your grandma still has the You Got Mail sound coming from her computer. Who knows? But they made a, there was a big play where they were sold to, uh, to Verizon, my Fios provider. Hi, we're riding the Fios wave right now as I'm recording this. Uh, for $4.4 billion as an acquisition, it is approved. Uh, it's, it's, we're talking about TechCrunch, we're talking about Engadget, we're talking about the Huffington Post. These are all parts of AOL, AOL's media empire at this point. There's AOL Video. I Justine, I know, was doing some stuff over there. I don't know if she still is. Last night, I know she's on The prices Right this week. That's awesome. But anyways, sorry, Pittsburgh Original, so I got to support the the, uh, the 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 home team on that one. So, and, uh, but Verizon, you know... This is definitely a content play. This isn't about your uh, AOL dial-up customers that are still out there. Yes, they're still out there. Or the people on AOL uh, Mail, and you know, maybe you'll see a bunch of these things get hacked out as they uh, as they encompass this thing. And I'm kind of curious what Verizon's track record is with acquisitions like this. I can't think of any like this. There's been technology acquisitions. I I've been a part of a blogger event uh, where they talked about they pretty much have like kind of a, a Google incubator-ish thing in, uh, in Boston and San Francisco where they help companies, uh, typically device companies, kind of build up around their 4G technology, which is a really cool concept to see that kind of incubator uh, uh, happen. I hope to visit it next time uh, I hit San Francisco. Didn't have the opportunity last time. But still, like they're doing a lot. They're more than just your internet and phone provider. Jeez, it's a telecom. Think about that. It's a phone provider, and they're they're getting on, in on this. Uh, and there's also, uh, well, one, I, I have to uh, uh, shout out to Engadget, their amazing article they po purchased. Uh, Verizon is buying Engadget, but not its editorial, with the giant blinking freedom gif gif uh whatever of this bald eagle that they have on their front page a, a nice smarmy uh thing and they also have george michael's freedom from 1990 uh embedded on the on the page as well that we were really enjoying that uh, after the show yesterday but also it, buzzfeed is also saying you know verizon is likely retained tech crunch and engadget some great properties there, uh, but it says the uh, future of Huffington Post may be a little less certain. So uh, this again, this is a content play. This is the, we want these properties most likely, I would say. Uh, but it, it, again, they're saying that it has uh, no plans to spin off several of the high-profile media properties within its brand group, including TechCrunch and Gadget. MapQuest is a part of this as well. Movie Phone is a part of this. Crunchbase Alpha. Uh, but they, they've also sure they, they've also been assured that there are no layoffs planned for any of those properties as well. So they may just absorb and and let them run, you know. Also, I'm hearing on on uh, Daily Tech News Show that there's an ad platform that's a really big deal, and this is again kind of Verizon trying to diversify. Maybe the internet's not going to work out for them. That seems like a weird statement. Uh, you, you never know. You never know. So uh, what does this mean? I think this means this is a Verizon's maybe first or, or first major public step in, in, in rolling into the direction that we see Comcast, NBC, Universal. Do we have enough things in there as a giant content provider? Uh, you know, the, the conversation has always been, I know, in the tech podcast that I listen to, uh, that these guys want to be a little more than a big, dumb pipe that you pay for a, a fee and you get your content from everywhere. They want to own the content as well. They want to diversify that, be able to provide 
uh, specific stuff to their customers. You know, you think about Verizon's deal with the NFL. They're they're fairly exclusive when it comes to uh, mobile properties with the National Football League. And I, I think it's just a move in that direction. So let me know what you think about this big change. Uh, this big change for uh, AOL being bought and all those properties uh, by Verizon. At Awesome Cast on Twitter, check us out on Facebook, Google Plus, a great uh, uh, Facebook group for Awesome Cast as well. Comments to this video wherever you find it. If you're on audio, again, hit up any of those platforms. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.